Okay, so welcome everyone to this video. So I already explained the theory before in the previous video. So here I will summarize for the step to calculate the fragile uh, reinforcement and then vertical shear reinforcement and then the deflections, cracking and also detailing. Okay, so without further ado, so let us look at this. So I will start with the rectangular beam when fragile reinforcement actually for uh, rectangular beam for French beam the steps are the same but the um, uh, the formula involved is different okay so we will start with the de determine the design moment when we will take the critical moments okay and then the concrete glass uh, we need to classify that is this is less or equal to 50 uh, uh, is c50 or c60 then we can proceed if not, then it's outside of this course. Okay, so we calculate the k equal to m over b d squared f c f c k, and then we also calculate the k balance by using these equations. Or if you have no redistribution moments, so the sigma will be one, and then k balance will straight away become zero point one six seven. So you will compare the k and k balance. It is is less than if k is less than k balance. So you will proceed with single reinforce in single reinforcement. If not, then you need easier and the compression reinforcement. So still remember the compression reinforcement is on top and then the single reinforcement is at the bottom. Okay, so this is at S prime, this is at X. So if it is single reinforcement, then we will proceed to calculate the level arm Z and then the AS. Okay. So you can see that here. What if the k is greater than k balance means that we need the compression reinforcement so you will have x prime so you calculate the z using these equations okay and then it must be less than 0.95 d and then you will calculate the x okay by using these equations so you will compare d prime over x so you can see here this is the d prime d prime is the uh, edge of top to the center of the diameter of the com uh, compression reinforcement so you have to check if d prime over x is <coughs> d prime over x is less or equal to 0 0.38 so you will get this at s prime by using this equation but if the d uh, d prime over x is greater than 38 so you need to use this equation to calculate at x so after you calculate the x you can get the diameter, uh, diameter and amount of the bar you needed and then you can calculate AS. AS is equal to K balance FC over 0.87 FYKZ plus AX prime. Okay, so this is your AX and this is your AX prime. Okay, so now I go. Well, we are going to talk about the vertical shear reinforcement. So we will start with calculate the VED and then it's followed by the concrete strut capacity. Here we have theta 22 degree and theta 45 degree. So cot theta equal to 2.5 is for the theta 22 degree and cot theta 1 is for the theta, uh, theta 45 degree. So if you still remember cot theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. Okay. So VRD maximum is 0 0.36 BWD FCK in the bracket 1 minus FCK over 250. So over cot theta plus tan theta. So you calculate the VED and VRD. So if VED is great less or equal to VRD, okay, maximum cot theta is 2.5. Okay, so you calculate for this and this. So if this VED is lesser than the maximum cot theta 25, you can straight away to proceed calculate this. If not, you need to calculate also the V theta, cot theta equal to 1.0, which is the maximum cot theta. Okay, if the VED is smaller than VRD, you can proceed to calculate this. But if it's greater than this, then we need to totally redesign the sections. Okay, which is using the cot theta 45. If it's greater than your VED is greater than this value, okay, VED is greater than this value, then you need to redesign. If not, you can substitute and then you calculate this equations so you calculate after you calculate this you can proceed calculate area of shear reinforcement so asw over s is equal to ved over 0.78 for fyk d cot theta where cot theta is 2.5 for this okay 
So the minimum ring requirements at x w over s is equal to 0 0.08 b w uh, square root f c k over f y k. Maximum spacing is 0 0.75 d. And then the additional conditional, uh, the longitudinal tension force is 0. Point, is the additional longitudinal is 0. 0.5 e d cot theta. Okay. So the flow to read angle. Okay, so here is the longitudinal reinforcement in tensions, and then this is the vertical shear reinforcement. Okay, the shear vertical shear reinforcement, and then this is the theta for it. Okay, this is the theta. So the part two, the deflections. Okay, so now we go to the deflections. So procedures to assess the deflection it is in the Euro code part two. Okay, you can check the clause seven point two. So for basic L over D span effect that ratio, okay, we need to calculate the rho and rho O. Okay, so the rho O is the reference reinforcement re uh, ratios using these equations, and rho is the required tension reinforcement ratio as required over BD. And then the P rho is the uh, required compression reinforcement ratio as prime required over BD. So you have this three type of P. So if P is less than PO, then you will use this L over D. If P is greater than the PO, then you will use this D over L over D. Okay. So the P, how the P equation is also I listed here. Okay. So for the fringe sections, you will have if the fringe section V F over V W is greater than three, and L over D dot E allowed is time zero point eight. So for the beam and the slab, other than the French slab, okay, its span is greater than 7 meter. L over D allowed is times 7 over L. And X provided over X required is less than 1.5. And L over D allowed times X provided over <coughs> X required. Okay, so next is you need to check L over D allowed is equal to L over D. This is a small letter. This is a capital. Uh, this is <coughs> D allowed equal to D L over D allowed times 7 over D. Okay, MF span and the MF area as provided over as required. Then you calculate, you will compare the D allowed must be better, greater than the D actual and L over D allowed must be greater than L over D actual and then the add of it. Okay. And then we will check the cracking. Okay. So this is the number four content, uh, the contents. Okay. So calculate the steel stress for limiting the cracks width, and then we will use the WK with 0 0.3 mm. So this is in the cloud 7.3.3. You can check it in the British Standard Euro code. Yeah. Uh, B S E N. Okay. Euro code. Sorry. So this is a FS. Okay. So for this is the sigma equal to 1 for non-redistribution method or either you can use this fs. So this is the two equations. Okay. <clears throat> so determine allow, but, uh, allow the spacing, the bar spacing for cracking control table 7.3n uh, or maximum bar size from the table 7.2n. So adequate crack control D bar provided is less than the D bar maximum or X provided is less than the X maximum. Okay, you need to check this crack control. So you can see that this is the sketch where you can see this is the B. Okay, and then X is equal to B times D minus 2 D link because here is the D link. Here you have 2 D link. Okay, and then minus 2 C. Two concrete covers here. Here have one concrete cover. Here have one concrete cover, and then minus the D diameter over two. Okay, you can see that here is center to center. Means here is half D and half D. That's why it become one D, and then over two because here we have two S. So it depends. It depends on your situation. So let's say here is arrangement is uh, three lay three 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 line of D reinforcement. One two three. So here, if let's say your S provided, okay, is only two le uh, two side, okay, it's only left and right like this. So B is the S is B minus two C, okay. Here is the concrete uh, B minus here is the B, okay minus two C, 
and then minus 2 d right diameter of the link and then minus the d link and the d bar because here is half half so this is two situation for calculate the s okay. so let's go for this example 4.5 which is the simply supported rectangular beam okay so we will go from the beginning until the detailing for this example okay so i hope every one of you will practice it and then to redo this for practice and for your <coughs> revisions so let's go so first okay the rectangular reinforced beam is simply supported on two masonry walls 250 mm thick and at meter apart Okay, you can see that here is at meter apart the L okay the L here is at meter apart so the clear distance yeah okay so the beam has to carry a distributed permanent actions of 15 kilonewton including the excluding okay which is not including the beam self weight and variable action one uh, variable action is 10 kilonewton per meter the material to be used are grade 20 the concrete okay and then grade 500 for reinforcement the beam inside buildings which is subjected to one hour fire resistance which is the r60 okay fire and designed for 50 years design life so let's design the beam so this is a sketch okay the beam is sitting on the on the wall okay with 800 millimeter clear span so this is w on top okay so including the uh, at the middle say so the total beam size will be 2 at 5 okay 2 at 5 millimeter so then let's go to see the specifications so the specification the effective span length is 8.25 meter so this example is also provided in the slide if you can see and you can refer to the slide I have gave you okay this is example 4.5 so then then the characteristic permanent actions <coughs> characteristic permanent action is uh, 15 kilonewton per meter and then characteristic variable actions is 10 kilonewton design line is 50 year which is the s4 class fire resistance one hour is r60 explosion explosion class is xc1 and then the material for the concrete is 20 newton per millimeter square fyk is 50 newton per millimeter square unit weight of concrete is 25 kilonewton per meter three and then assumption here is bit bar is 20 mm bar 2 is 12 mm for the compression bar and then the uh, compression reinforcement bar and then the d link the, for the link is 8 millimeter okay so let's continue so number two okay after the specification so now is the size so to uh, estimate the size here i use l over 13 okay at 250 over 13 so you get 635 and then B is 0.4 hash, so 0.4 times 635, then I get 254 mm. Okay, so use B times hash is equal to 250 times 650 mm. So I decided to use 250 times 650. So this we have a range that I explained it in the preliminary uh, beam size. So if you use other value, then you will be a little bit different, but it's similar. Okay, and then number three, we will go to the durability, fire, and bond requirements. So here we will uh, estimate the concrete cover, C nominal. Okay, so the minimum concrete cover regard regard to the bond, C mean is 20. Okay, is 20. And then the C durability you check is according to 50. So you want to further more about how to calculate the C nominal here, you can go to my previous video for the concrete cover determinations. Okay, so B uh, minimal requirement exceeds for the R60 is at SD equal to A plus 10, so it's 30 plus 10 is 40. Okay, so the minimum concrete cover regard to the fire resistance is at SD minus D link minus half D bar. So 40 minus 8 minus 0.5 times 20 is 22 mm. 
So allowable allowance in design for the deviations C def is 10 mm. So C nominal is C minimum plus C def. So here we can see that we have 22 plus 10, so it's equal to 32 mm because we compare this 20, okay, 15, and also this 22. So we pick the biggest one here, the C minimum for the concrete cover regarding to fire resistance, so it's 22 plus 10. So C norm here is 35 mm. So the loading or loading and analysis. So is the loading provided is not including the beam self weight. So we need to calculate the beam self weight. Okay, 0 0.25 times 0 0.65 is the B time hash, and then times the unit weight of concrete. Then you will get this 0 0.4625. Okay, so you uh, make it become 0 0.26 with two decimal points, and then the permanent action is 15 kilonewton per meter. So you total up 15 plus 4.6. Uh, 0, 06 then you will get the permanent actions is equal to 19.06 and then the variable action given is 10 kN per meter so the design action is equal to 1.35 gk plus 1.5 qk you substitute the value of 19.06 uh, and 10 into it you will get 40.73 kN per meter square this is the uniform distributed load uniform distributed load Okay, so you can see that this is the simply supported beam. You have 40.73 UDL here, which is uh, with 8.25 meter. So you calculate, okay, V is equal to WL over 2. You substitute, you get the value. And then M is WL squared over 8. You will get the value of V and the M. Okay, so after you get the V and the M, then you can go to proceed to calculate the main reinforcement. Okay, this is step number five. So the effective depth D is equal to hash minus C nominal minus C D link minus half D bar. Okay, so you will get 650 minus the C concrete cover minus the D link minus the 0 0.5 D bar. So you will get the D. And then the D prime AC, D prime AC nominal plus D link plus D bar. Okay, so you get 35 plus 8 plus 0 0.5 times 12. So this is 53. Okay, so I, I believe you already know what is D and D bar. So if not, you need to refer back to the previous notes. Okay, so design moment MED is the 346.6 from the shear force and bending moment diagram and then after that you can calculate the k so where the k value is med over bd square fck so it's equal to 346.6 okay this is for the unit conversions times 10 power of 6 over 250 times 597, uh, 597 power of 2 times 20 then you get 0 0.194 here we have no redistribution method so the care balance is 0 0.164 so now care is greater than care balance okay so care balance here is lesser than the k means we need the compression reinforcement means we are uh, we have the reinforcement at here and also at here so first we calculate the z okay z is the level arm level arm okay level arm so z is equal to d in the bracket 0 0.5 plus square root of 0 0.25 minus k balance over 1.135 which is lesser than 0 0.95 d okay so it's equal to 0 0.282 uh, d after you substitute the value everything you get the d okay 0 0.82 d is less than 0 0.95 d okay so it's correct so if it is greater than 0.95D, then we use 0.95D to proceed the next calculations. So X is equal to D minus Z over 0.4. So it's 597, okay, the B and the D, okay, the D, 
0.897, the D is the actual D, Min, uh, minus 0.82597 over 0.4. Then you get the X value. Okay, so ratio of D prime over X, you get 0.18, which is less than 0.38. Okay, so when it's less than 0.38, you will use these equations. Okay, you substitute into it, then you will get D at X prime. Okay, at X uh, prime is 0 0.2, 0, I, sorry, is 201.84. Okay. So, at x is equal to this equation plus at x prime. Okay, this equation. So, you substitute the value into it for the k balance, for the fck, for the b and the d power of 2. And then the 0 0.87 times the fyc times the z plus the 0, uh, 201.84. Then you will get that at x prime is 1599mm squared. So refer to table 1, BS at 110, the cross sections area for the steel bar. You will get this two value, which is the uh, hash, uh, 2 hash 12, as provided 226 millimeter, and 6 hash 20, as provided is 1886. So you can see that here, okay, here is 2 hash 12, and then here is 6 hash 20. This is the arrangement. Okay, so minimal area of reinforcement. Okay, you can check as mean must be uh, as provided must be greater than as mean and lesser than the as maximum. So you calculate the as minimum. Okay, uh, based on page one five two, you record two nine point two point one point one the clause. You calculate, you will get the as minimum is one nine four. Okay. And then the AX maximum is 6500, 6, So the AX provided is in between it, so it's okay. Okay, so next we go to the shear reinforcement. So design shear force is 168 kN. Okay, the V from the shear force bending moment diagram. Okay, so you calculate the VRD, the maximum, by using the COP20. Cot 22 here, okay, 2.5. So tan 22 review is 0 0.404. So cot 45 is 1. Tan 45 is 1. So you calculate this, you substitute the cot theta plus tan theta. Okay, you will get 340 for cot, and for theta is 22 degree. And then for nine, uh, 494 for theta is 45 degree. So if Okay, VED is less than VRD, okay, the 25, uh, the 2.5, the 22 degree, okay, then it's okay, you can proceed. But here now is <coughs> the VED 168 is uh, lesser than it, then it's okay. Then the VRD is, is, if it is in between the 340 and 494, then you will proceed with the calculations that I explained before. Okay, so VED is 168 is lesser than the 340, then angle of theta we will use is 22 degree. Okay, so theta is equal to 0 0.5 C negative 1, the VED, you substitute this equation into it. The theta here is 9.94 degree. Okay, so we will use theta equal to 22 degree. So shearing here, you calculate as W over X equal to VED over 0.87 FYK D cot theta. So you substitute the value into it, then you will get 0.291. So earlier assumption, we use the D-link is 8 mm. So 8 mm, you use the 2 pi D power of 2 over 4, you will get 101. Okay, so here you're using the 101 over 0.291, which is the A over <coughs> which is <coughs> okay so over 291 okay you get the s s is equal to this equation ved over the value of this 291 0.291 so you will get 347 mm which is less than the 0 0.7575 d okay there it must be less than 0 0.75 d so 0 0.75 d is uh here okay 448 millimeter. So we can use a hash 8 uh, at 
325 okay mm so how we choose okay we can we can we don't choose the value like this because for the construction wise it will be difficult to construct so we can increase like 325 350 every time we increase all right 25 25 and 25 okay okay so for to calculate the minimum link ASW over S is equal to this equation 0 0.08 FCK okay this is square root okay BW over FYK so you substitute you get 0 0.179 so try to use hash ASW hash 8 okay you calculate the ASW you get 101 so 101 over 0 0.179 you will get 564mm which is greater than the 0.75D448 Okay, so we cannot use this uh, so we will choose the 0.75d which is a 448 so we take the value lesser than this so we choose 425 so we can use 425 at the middle sections okay for the minimum uh, link sections so shear resistance of minimum link okay you calculate the v mean by using this equation you substitute 101 and then the s is 425 here so from the uh, later you i will go to the next one so from the uh, shear force starting from 138 kilonewton then we can use the minimum link to reduce the link provided okay so the link arrangement so now we have the hash 325 and then the hash 425 so we need to arrange it according to the <coughs> requirements we can know uh, just now we can know that start from 138 kilonewtons so we can use the minimum shearling okay this means that every 245 mm we will put the shearling bar but then at near where where is near the support we higher the shear force we need to provide more shearling okay the links here will be greater so by using the calculations of this the cross calculations okay so you will get the x is 0 0.74 mm okay so additional tension force the additional tension force is 0 0.5 ved cot theta so it's 208 kilo newton okay and then the med maximum over z is equal to 707.97 kilo newton which is greater than the additional tension force okay z is equal to 0 0.28 times 597 which is 489.554 so additional longitudinal reinforcement is as okay is equal to 208 we take this 208 times 10 power of 3 over 0 0.87 times 500 then you will get 478 so we will use 2 hash 20 6 to 9 mm okay for the additional longitudinal reinforcement so the deflections okay the deflections here percentage of reinforcement tensions uh, the row is as required over bd okay so you calculate the row and then the row or the reference reinforcement ratio 0 0.0045 and then if row over now is 0 0.011 is less than 0. Point <coughs> And 0 0.011 is greater than 0 0.045 so k equal to 1.0 and then row prime you calculate at x prime of required over bd you will get 0 0.00135 then you use these equations okay you calculate everything you substitute then you will get l over d is 15 over at 45 mm eh, 15 over at 45 so you calculate the l over d is equal to L over D allowed times 7 over L times X provided over X required. So this is the 7 over 8, okay, 7 over 8 the span and F the modification, this factor of span greater than 7 mm, you calculate, you get this. Modification factor for steel area provided, okay, this is this one, then you calculate 1.195, which is greater than, less than 1.5. So D allowed is equal to 1.5 uh, 15.845 times 0 0.0 0 0.875 times 
1.175 then you get this value so actual spend effective that is 13.819 which is lesser than the allowed 16.31 and uh, 346 so the deflection is okay okay so the cracking the limit cracks with okay w maxima here is 0 0.3 mm the allowed okay cracking width so you calculate the fx okay substitute into the equations then you get 235.5 newton per millimeter square so from the table 3.7.3 m page 1 2 3 maximum allowable bar spacing here should be 200 mm sorry i have the typing errors i so the bar spacing the s is equal to b okay here is the b okay minus 2c here is the concrete cover 2c and then here is two diameter of the d-link okay you have a d-link here okay and then minus two diameter uh, two d-link okay because you have two d-link here and then diameter because this is from the center to center of the bar so its link is here is zero uh, fifth, one uh, half d bar half d bar so total is one bar over two because here you have two s okay here i already explained in the uh, few slides ago so supposedly you already know the s to how to calculate so this is based on the situations huh because here you have two s so you do this if you only use uh, here okay you don't have three layer you only have two two layer of this uh, two side of this so the s is only one and then you need to calculate based on the required one so after you substitute all the value you get 72 mm which is less than the 150 uh, less than this is 200 sorry 200 mm the allowed a uh, maximum allowed bar spacing so is okay okay remember whatever provided must be less than the maximum allowed so this is the detailing okay so detailing you can see in the uh, uh, this one is incorrect in the example provided by typing because it's starting from a beginning stage of uh, a stage then it's creating the incorrect value that's why it's uh, a little bit of the mistake here okay so you can see that here uh, at here this area you use the hash 8325 and then here you use the hash 8 two four five for the link okay minimum link bar and this is the link uh, right uh, sharing okay so here is the two hash 12 for the axial compress other uh, compre uh, so for, sorry for the compression reinforcement and this is the tension reinforcement so the cross section will be like this okay so that's it for this example so thank you and everyone please do your revision for this example try to do it so you will be understand uh, more understand about this so thank you.